Okay, so this super duper special next guest is in high demand, and thanks to his gazillion books, he's able to keep his many fans on the healthy track. And it doesn't matter if the goal is to shred or if it's to eat clean. Dr. Ian's got you. And now his newest guide is all about plant power. And we say newest because this New York Times bestselling author has over 20 books to his name. 20. Please welcome back one of my bestest besties from way back, <laughs> Dr. Ian Smith. <laughs> and he gets two bells. He gets two bells. Oh, man, it's been a while. I'm in studio, I know. live and in person. I know, live yeah. and in person. And the last time you were on Zoom, Dr. Ian, we are talking about your latest murder mystery book, Dr. Yes. Ian. Yes, yes. Wolf Point. So all of a sudden, plant power. They're like plant power. I was like, how? Who? What in the voodoo are you doing? Well, the pandemic has had a lot of bad things, but also good for me has been able to concentrate and work and exclusion. So I wrote several books. Plant Power is one of them. Wait, um, yeah, several? Several. But During the been, pandemic? It's been a couple years. Yeah. Writers write. That's what Stephen King says. Listen, I want to tell you something. I, this is one of the most personal books for me because I'm a meat lover. Mm -hmm. I love seafood. And I decided that I was eating too much of it. And I wanted to harness more of the benefits of plants without becoming a total vegan or vegetarian. And I know that's fine. People mm -hmm. want to be there. I still want it to have meat occasionally and seafood. And so Plant Power was my own personal journey of four weeks of slowly changing the ratio, which means going from eating 7% animal-based mm -hmm. to 7% plant-based. But still 30% will be animal-based, but I want more plant-based now. And so that's what Plant Power is, an easy, simple four-week journey. And it's amazing. I didn't miss meat because I'm still having it occasionally, mm -hmm. right? I was worried, am I going to miss my steak and burgers? Yeah. I still have an occasion, it's fine. When I stopped eating meat, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to miss goat meat. I know, the Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna miss goat. How am I gonna survive without goat meat? But I'm fine because I still do fish and eggs. That's right. Okay, so what are some of the benefits? Because you're the doctor here. And we yes. know people tell you oh, veggies are good for you. So what are some of the benefits of g going on a plant forward? Yes, plant diet? forward, exactly. Well, you can lower your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels, you can lower your risk for heart disease, certain types of cancer, stroke, helps you lose weight. People who've been on my program have lost weight doing what? this. Yeah, it also can help you increase your energy and your mood. So there's so many there are other things. There's so many great things about being more plant forward. And by the way, you don't have to be a full vegan or vegetarian to get those benefits. You can do a program like this that will steal you those benefits and allow you to have those fun foods. All right, Dr. Yin, I'm glad you said that because you said you don't have to be a full vegan or vegetarian. So there's veganism, there's vegetarians, there's uh, flexitarians, there's plant forward. So we know vegans know Animal no products animal product at whatsoever. all. Vegetarians are like a little dairy sometimes. You know, there, there, there's some gray area for vegetarians. This is in the middle. I think okay. most Americans want to be in the middle where yeah. they get more health benefits from eating plants, but they also are still having the burger, the meat, the chicken, the seafood when they want to have it. In fact, we have a Facebook group. I encourage people to please join us. It's called Plant Power on Facebook, where I walk people through it. The recipes we exchange, people are like. This tastes so good. Mm -hmm. It's not meat, but I, I love it. So I want people to open their minds and their palates to the powers of plants. All right, so we have some um, yeah. suggestions so we have from some, your book, yeah. plans from your book. Yeah, so one of the things you want to do, like this may be where you are now starting the beginning. It's a four-week plan. We gradually go from heavy meat to lower meat. But, you know, having chicken, veggies, brown rice, it's a great way to start. Lots of good protein, lean protein, also some good whole grains and antioxidants in your food. Then you want to come over like to a salad. So maybe week two or three, mm -hmm. we're still having some chicken, but look at the difference. We're now using chicken as an accent. We've cut down. We're using it as an accent rather than it being the uh, main part of the entree. And then we can transition to something like this. We have a small salad. We have a nice creamy uh, tomato soup, which is delicious. But even in week four, like I said, 30% of your meals are still going to be animal-based. And so you're still going to have the chicken, the seafood, but you're not going to eat it as much, and you're not going to miss it, and you're going to lose weight and feel better. All right, and Dr. Ian prepared all of this. He woke up <laughs> early this morning to prepare all of this for us. By the way, Dr. Ian, so what, what's your take on uh, um, the meat substitutes? Yes, be very careful. Make sure they are low in calories. Make sure they don't have too much uh, sh uh, salt. They add a lot of preservatives to them. Uh, and so, you, you know, listen, meat is meat, mm -hmm. and you can't imitate meat. So if you're going to make the decision that you're going to eat less meat, you got to just do it. Some of these meat substitutes are high in calories, very processed. Just be careful. Read the labels. Okay, I'll read the labels because I like one of them like really a lot. But I don't eat it a lot. I'll tell you what. If you go to my Instagram, my Instagram is at Dr. Ian Smith. Spell the doctor out, Ian Smith. You will see recipes in there that once you have those recipes, like my spicy Thai vegetable stir fry, 
you're not going to want to have... Really? Me yeah, you're going to be like, this is so good and so hard. Why did I even say really? I trust Dr. Ian. <laughs> you and I are like this. <laughs> we go way back. For real, for real, Dr. Ian. Okay, so I'm, I'm loving this, and I love that people have the option to do just a little bit. And as a doctor, you know how some people just go straight up vegan? Some people are like flexitarian. Do you recommend, like, I guess going according to your body because everyone's <coughs> body is different some people can be I, raw vegans and survive yes. it and some people can't i always recommend transitioning which is okay. why this is a four-week plan because okay. we're slowly doing it so you don't have withdrawal you don't have this kind of feeling like ah, i can't do this slowly transition and when you get there you're like oh i got this and now it's a permanent lifestyle choice and like i said it's easy it's simple the foods are affordable uh, and tasty, so it's a good time. Plant power, baby. Anything Dr. <laughs> Ian says, I am down for that. Okay, Dr. Ian, remember that there was a time when you were on Zoom yes. and I was joking and I said, Dr. Ian, I have six fingers on one hand, but I need more toes and more extra fingers to count the books you, you have. <laughs> How many books are we at right now? This is number 23. This is my Michael Jordan of books. <laughs> <laughs> number 23. So the last time you were, you were here, we're talking about your book becoming a series, the crime, yes. the crime series, right? Wolf so, Point. Yeah, Wolf Point. So you told me that I can have maybe an extra situation happening. Guaranteed. Okay. Guaranteed. Even if I don't speak, I'm fine. You'll be So in there. how far are we in that process? We just handed in the second draft of our pilot script, and fingers crossed, they say good, and then it's go time. Hollywood, here we come. <laughs> and, and I said we, Dr. Ian. No, I'm okay with that. We are a team. We are a team. How far back do we go? What, 19 years? I know, I know. <laughs> and I, I made it into one of Dr. Ian's books, everyone. Because right. you wrote, remember you, you did uh, your acknowledgments and you said hi to the security guard at the pub publishing house? I was like, Dr. Ian, the security guard gets in the book and I don't. And you and didn't? Th and then the next book, you put me in it. Voila. And since then, <laughs> I've been a star. Thanks, Dr. Ian. So do I need acting lessons or not? No, it's not a speaking role, is it? OG, you're good already. Right. Just be you. All right, just Dr. Ian. You. All right, so what are you doing? What books are you doing next? Are you doing books next or are you just focusing on the TV series? No, no, no. I'm books every year. So my next book actually is going to be another novel in the Ash Kane series. And then next year when I come back to see you, I'm going to talk about metabolic flexibility. How do you burn different fuels to increase and to better improve your metabolism? Oh, my God. How are you so... Well, I was going to say how are you so smart, but you're a doctor, so you're supposed to be smart. Just work. You, you got to put the work in like the athletes say. Put in the reps. Okay, put in the reps. <laughs> write more books, be like Dr. Ian. That is my goal for 2022, because it's just smile. starting and today. smile. Always smile. Oh, smile. Oh, thanks, Dr. <laughs> Ian. Always great to see you, Dr. Ian. You always Thank make you. us smile, and you make, always make us healthy. Everyone, this is the book. Get it. It's available everywhere books are sold. Plant Power. Can you get a copy? You yeah. get a copy. Everybody gets a copy. Yay! Yeah. Hey, you well, get a copy. I, you, I, you know, I really follow the Eat and Clean book. It's right. good, right? Yeah. It this okay. will take you to the next level. It was okay. It, it was yeah. All right. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs>